What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your full body stretch. So grab a spot on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute full body stretch. I'm so glad you're here today. So glad you took this time. You need to take this time at least once a week just to stretch on one day. And within the week, you can incorporate this stretch as well as you need it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with a standing position. We're gonna start with the feet today, okay? Just moving the joints, working on flexibility and mobility today. So if you guys are ready, go ahead and take your place on your mat. Make, you, make sure you have some space around you. All right, and I'm gonna have you start in a wide plie stance. Hands on your hips, we're gonna drop into a half squat, and we're gonna rock back and forth one foot at a time. Two, one, here we go. So I just want you to pull your heel up nice and tall, coming up onto the balls of your foot, stretching out the arches of your foot. There you go, now let's stay on the left side here. Just give it a good stretch, rotating your knee towards your pinky toe and your big toe just a little bit. So you get the inner part of your arch and the outer. And let's go ahead and switch it over. So today's stretch, I'm gonna have two different phases for you. Okay, the first minute or first 30 seconds of each stretch, we'll be getting into it. And then the second 30 seconds, I'm gonna ask you to push a little bit deeper. Okay, so this is our first one. Let's switch back one more time. And switch over again. And perfect, all right, let's bring it back. Step your right foot back for me, okay? And I want you to just to push your heel down to the floor. All right, now let's lean forward, hinging at the hips, still keeping that hip in, or the heel in contact with the floor. So you should feel this all up the back of your legs, but mostly in your calves. Great job, push that heel down. Come up and now let's lean a little bit more forward with your hips, push, push, push. Hinge if you can, but still keep that forward lean, driving your heel to the ground. Here you go, make sure your front foot is far enough out in front that it supports your weight. Good, good, good. Really stretch. And we're gonna switch legs in two, one. All right, step it up to the front. And let's kick that other leg back. Heel on the ground, feet are hip width apart. Okay, and let's lean forward, hinging here at the waist. Keeping that foot out back nice and flat. Keep both of your hips facing forward. Good. All right, let's stand up and push the hips forward a little bit more. You can step a little bit further forward if you need to. And lean a little further, second half here. Keep the heel touching the floor. Great job, great job. Keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Lean, drive the heel down, four, that's it, three, two, one, awesome. Let's bring both feet together, hands on your thighs, hinge your hips backwards, keep your back nice and flat as you rock down, down, down. When you get to your shins, stop right here, okay, if you can get there, and really flatten your back out so your butt is pushing backwards, feet are grounded into the mat. You're feeling the stretch right in the tops of your legs, tops of your hamstrings. Good. All right, the last 30 seconds. Let's go a little further, push those hips back even more, and I want you to reach forward now. Okay, so you can set your butt back more. We've got a counterbalance going on here. Butt goes back, hands reach forward. Push, 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 push. Great job, keep sitting back, four, three, two, one, awesome. Now, let's cross, come on up, cross your 
left ankle over your right foot. And I want you to hinge forward again, touching onto the mat. Okay, so from the front, kind of looks like I'm making a number four with my feet. Okay, and then I want you to hinge over it, driving your hips backwards. three seconds, I want you to bend that knee just a little. There you go, keep your chest right over top. And if you're modifying, you can hold on to something beside of you. If you can't go all the way down yet, you can just start right here. But if you can, fold all the way over, bend that leg, sink a little deeper. Good job, eight more seconds. Three two, one, all right, drop that leg and let's switch it over. Okay, so hands or ankle is on your knee, fold forward if you can, hands on the floor so you've got a good balance here. There you go, anyone else really feeling this in their hips and their glutes on this side? I definitely am, we did some glute bridges yesterday single leg especially, so right at that glute and hamstring tie-in. And let's go ahead and bend the knee just a little bit, sink a little deeper, last 30 seconds here. Great job, great job. Sink down, sink down, push, 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 push. Keep breathing, eight, seven, almost there. Push it down, three, two, one. Take that foot right from your knee to the mat and let's step the bottom leg backwards. Okay, hip flexor stretch. We could do these all day. All right, weight is in your front foot and your back knee. Stay right here for the first 30. And if you can go lower, you can drop down. Okay, let's really stretch that hip flexor out back. Push, push, push. And then let's open up that front arm. So left leg is out front, same side arm, opens up to the ceiling. You're dropping that back hip down as far as you can. Good, push it down a little bit lower. You've got nine, eight, seven. Three, two, one. Keep this front foot right out front. Now I want you to push your hips back so you've got a hamstring stretch now. Again, and pull your toe back up towards your face. Good job, good job. Keep your back nice and flat right over top of the middle of your legs or right over top of your quad. Pull that toe back, back, back. And 30 seconds left here. Sink a little deeper. Let's reach out further. Push the hips back further. Here we go. Each round of 30, I want you to go a little bit lower in that second half. And hold. Just a little bit uncomfortable. Here we go. And we're going back to the opposite side. Hip flexor in two, one. All right, let's swing that leg back and switch the other leg up front. Hip flexor stretch. So let's just get into it first. Okay, drop it as low as you can. Your foot and your back knee should be about hip width apart. And really let those hips sink down low. A lot of you told me this week that your hips where your tightest area. Okay, so we're stretching out the entire hip girdle area here. And go ahead and open up your top arm here. If you can, you can drop down a little lower. That's always an option, but go as deep as you can today for these last 30 seconds. And then we'll rock back into our hamstring stretch again. Lots of work on the hamstrings and the hips and the glutes today. Good job, you've got three, two, one. Place your hands back down right in front of your hips 
and let's shoot it back. All right, get that toe pulled back towards your face. Here we go. You might find that one side is a little more flexible. That's okay, it just means you have to work a little harder on the other side. But pull that toe back. Really think about shooting your hips back and away from your toe. And feel it really nicely in your hamstring. Good, all right, sink a little deeper. You can reach your hands out front, if you can lay flatter, if you can shoot your butt back further, let's do it. Good, three, two, one. Now leave that front foot out flat, or out in front of you, and we're gonna twist over, okay? And we're gonna stretch out your hips and your external obliques here, all right? Did this one in a cardio workout this week and it is one of my favorites still to this day. And if you're like me, you're feeling your lats today. Good, reach over to the opposite wall. Good, now I want you to fold your chest forward a little bit and keep reaching. So this is gonna roll into the lower back a little bit. Your lats, your external obliques. There you go. Reach further, reach further. 10 seconds, a little bit further, stretch it out and pull those ribs open. Three, two, one. Place your hands on the ground in front of you and let's switch right over. Okay, nice big open chest first and reach over. Just keeping your chest open, your hips open. And if you need to modify this one, by the way, you can just come up to your hips, arch over. Okay, and if you can, drop it down. I find I have some more support here. Reach, 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 and let's drop the chest down. Keep reaching. We'll just rotate your top shoulder over a little bit and keep reaching. Good work, reach a little further. You've got about 10 seconds left. That's it, that's it. Three, two, one. Now come back to the middle and I want you to bring both of your feet right under you. Okay, last one in the hip area. Okay, you're on your tippy toes here. Hands are on the ground, so let's just sit first. Okay, just practice flattening out your back. Nice tall spine, like someone's pulling you from your ponytail. If you don't have a ponytail, then someone's pulling you from your head. Nice tall extended spine. Good. Now let's place your hands on your knees, get that balance, and open your hips up. Push them backwards, open and backwards. Good job. Open, 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 open. Nice work. 10 more seconds, push a little further. Feel it in the adductors here. Three, whoop, two, one, and great job. Let's come back onto all fours. All right, keep your hips up high in the air. I want you to reach your hands out further. Drop the chest down. Notice my hips are still straight up, so I'm not sitting yet. Hips stay up, chest drops to the floor. And I want you to look up here as you push your chest to the ground. Good. Think about opening your chest, opening your shoulders. Good, walk a little bit further away, push a little closer to the ground, last 30 seconds. See if you can keep your hips right over your knees and your chest touching the mat. Great job. Four, three, two, 
One, step your left foot up and through. Okay, and then I want you to bend, placing your hand up on that left front foot. Bend your back knee. Let's pull that quad, okay? And make sure if you need to, you can kind of fold your mat up here. You can grab a pillow. You can put a blanket under your knee, under the back knee. I have a, a mat here that's a little bit extra cushion because I knew I was gonna be doing some stretches where we're on the joints. All right, now scoot that foot forward. Let's lean forward a little more. Keep pulling. Whoop. Find a spot on your mat and focus on it <laughs> so you're not rolling around here. Good job. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release that foot and let's switch sides. Okay, so one foot is out front. Bend your back leg, pull. Find a spot right on your mat, right in front of that front toe. Keep staring right there. There you go. Had my feet a little bit too close. Stretch that quad, good job. Keep your hips centered right between your knee, your two knees, I guess I should say. Good, now let's float forward a little more. Keep on that, holding onto that back foot. This is a tough one, I know. Pull, 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 pull. Good job. Three, two, one, and have a seat. Good job. Just crisscross your legs for me. We're gonna work on the shoulders a little bit. Let's cross the arm over. Okay, and I want you to sit right on your sit bones, and then I want you to push this shoulder away. So you're leaning away from your fingertips. Good, now second 30 seconds, let's take it overhead. Same arm, but you're just pulling across your forehead. Should feel this right in your shoulder blades and your ribs. Keep breathing. Seven, six, keep exhaling. Two, one, good. Now let's switch arms. Dropping it across here. And lean over towards your shoulder, away from your fingertips. Good job. Pull, 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 keep the arms straight. Should feel it in the back of your shoulder here. And good, take that hand up overhead. Let's pull it over top of your forehead. Good, good, good. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and place your hands down on the mat beside you. I want you to take your ear over to your right shoulder. Okay, keeping this left hand on the mat right beside of you. Think ear to shoulder. You should feel this stretch all in your neck. Try not to roll it around or bounce or anything like that. Just keep your spine tall. Keep this hand on the floor. Keep your ear dropping over to your shoulder. Good, I'm gonna let you stay here. Pull a little bit further down, press on the floor, lean your ear. Good. Keep pressing, keep leaning, ear to shoulder. Let's loosen it up, loosen that neck up. Five. Four, three, 
and switch hands. So let's place the other hand down, come back to the middle slowly, and then let's drop it ear to shoulder. And this hand on the ground just lets you know that your shoulder is staying at a consistent level. So you're not going here, right? Your shoulder stays right here. Drop the ear to the shoulder. And that makes you aware of the fact that you're not rotating your head forwards and backwards. You're just going straight over. That's it, 20 seconds. Press into the floor a little more. Pull your ear a little closer to your shoulder. stretch two one and great job place your hands right behind your back open up your chest as you take a big deep breath in exhale bring your hands to the front let's go one more time hands behind your back open up and rest. Amazing job today, guys. Thank you for tuning into this full body stretch with me. Hope you feel amazing from your toes all the way up to your neck. Hopefully you'll use this stretch throughout the week whenever you need it on those days where you're feeling tight in the hips and the butt, hamstrings, upper traps, neck area, wherever you need it. I can promise you practicing a stretch like this just 20 minutes out of your day is going to improve your fitness regimen immensely, okay? I believe in moving the body well before we move a lot of weight so we've got to practice getting your body moving in the ranges of motion that it naturally should be, okay? If you're tight, tightness is just like strength. It comes, or for tightness, it goes away. Your flexibility and your mobility increase as you practice stretching more often, okay? So treat it just like strength. You have to work hard to get stronger. You have to work hard to get flexible, to get mobile, and to loosen these joints and these muscles up, okay? So comment below, what was your toughest stretch today? And before you head out, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so we can keep growing together, guys, and turn on your bell notifications so I can alert you for every workout coming at you this week. Let's have a great week, guys. Bye.